Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to be looking at the reason why hard water does not lather with what soap. Lather readily with soap. Okay, the reason why hard water does not lather readily with soap. Or say why hard water does not lather readily readily with soap all right all right so uh in the previous class we looked at what hard water we said hard water is water which does not lather readily with soap okay all right and we say it's due to the presence of ca calcium or what magnesium or ions in what in the hard water all right so now i want to really see what happens Okay, why does he really not what ladder with what is so? I want to see the chemistry behind it. All right, so now uh, do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students easily find this video. All right, and that will lead to their success. Okay, so that means you are contributing to their success by liking this video. So please click on that like button. All right, likewise, do not forget to what to subscribe to this channel. All right, subscription is free. Just click on that red subscribe button below this channel. All right, if you think you have subscribed before, you have not. Please, you have not. Please check it now and subscribe. All right, do not forget to share this video also. Like uh, so, um, we are going to see a question from 2007, number 38, from the old 3 schools jam app, 2007-38. It says, when temporary hard water is boiled for some time in a kettle, the inner surface of the kettle becomes coated with a deposit of a, we are given aluminum triazocarbonate 4. B, we are given calcium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4. C, we are given calcium tetraozocarbonate 6. D, we say calcium triazocarbonate 4. All right, so I'm going to come back to this question and many other questions from this amazing application, the OTD School Jam CBT Practice app. All right, so it is available on Play Store. It has all the past questions that you need for your exam. So you don't need to go and buy past questions outside. It has a classroom feature where you can study lecture notes that have been structurally structured okay according to the jam syllabus so that you don't need to bother about going to find syllabus at all all right yeah you don't need to bother to go and buy test books okay then also we have what question chat feature we also have a utm challenge that will conduct for students every saturday it's a mock challenge you compete with your mates you win prizes gets to jam pass questions and likely exam questions you build confidence over your exam you see your result release too so you know they appear when they say jam don't release the result too all right so please jump on the app download and activate for a little fee pay the sacrifice for your success that's why it's your success you must pay the sacrifice so activate your app all right so now let's see why hard water does not ladder readily with soap okay the reason is simple all right the reason is because most soaps most soaps have the formula most soaps have formula r-o-c-o-o and a all right most most soaps this is what this is the general formula all right and then also we know that what that hard water hard water flourish what to call what they contain what dissolve what minerals okay like what they have what uh we have what ca calcium ions and and or and or what magnesium what ion okay mg2 plus and what ca2 plus okay so now in hard water we have these ions okay now soaps have this general formula so therefore the word the sodium ion that are present that are present in what in the soap okay that the soap flourishes we displace what the calcium ion or the magnesium ion from what from the solution okay so these two ions ca2 plus and mg2 plus are now what precipitated they are precipitated precipitated okay they are precipitated as insoluble as insoluble rcoo 2ca or rcoo 2mg okay so this is now what what happened so the sodium ion that what that the word that the uh soap flourish we display the word ca2 plus or what the mg2 plus from what from the hard water okay so they are they will not be what precipitated as insoluble rocoo ca or rocoo2 mg okay so the simple reaction so that means what happened the simple reaction for the word for uh simple equation for the word for the reaction that occurs okay the displacement reaction that occurs of course first of all we have the soap all right that means so rocoo 
NA, then plus what? Of course, it has what? Cash millions plus the cash millions in the solution. That is CA what? 2 plus. All right. This is solid. This is aqueous. All right. So this will now give us what now? This will be displaced. Okay. Sorry. This will be displaced from the solution. So I'm going to now have what? Arrow COO2. Sorry. Arrow COO2 CA plus what? Na plus plus sodium ion. All right. So this is this will now be what the final solution. All right. So now the same for what for mg. If it's for if it is mg that's what present in the what in the solution, I want to have what now arrow COO uh, Na, which is the soap, then plus what mg2 plus. Okay, so to now give us what arrow COO2 mg plus what n a plus so is the same thing okay so now sometimes it is necessary to know that sometimes heating hard water can what can soften it heating hard water when we heat it h e a t i n g heating hard water can soften it can soften the hard water can soften the hard water in that case we say that what the hard water can be what softened by what by boiling okay so we say that what hard water can be what softened or can be removed okay can be removed or can be softened okay can be removed or softened by what by boiling it all right so please take note of that okay so what i just said that what that sometimes heating hard water can what can soften it in that case we say that what hard water can be or hardness of water can be removed by boiling therefore we say hardness is what is temporary okay when what hard water when hard water can be what removed by boiling we now say that what that hard Hardness is what is temporary, all right. That is temporary T E M P O R A R O Y, all right. So please take note of that. When hardness of water can be removed by boiling, we say that hardness is what is temporary. That's why one of the method of removing what hard water is by boiling it, okay. That is one of the method of removing what temporary hardness. One of the method of removing temporary hardness is by boiling what that water, okay. So please take note of that. So temporary hardness is due to the presence of. Of, of course, we saw in the last episode that temporal hardness is due to the presence of what? Calcium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4 or magnesium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4. All right? So, please, that's why you're not supposed to miss any episode, okay? So, we said that what? That temporal hardness is due to the presence of what? Calcium hydrogen, ca uh, hydrogen triazocarbonate 4 or magnesium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4, okay? And, of course, that calcium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4, that is CA, Okay, HCO32. Okay, this CA HCO32 is what is unstable to eat. Okay, it is unstable. It is unstable to eat. Unstable to what? To heat. Okay, and then likewise, it decomposes on heating. It decomposes when you heat it. Decomposes on what? On what? On heating. Okay, so now this calcium hydrogen has come before is unstable to eat. That means when you heat it, when you really will heat it, it's what it will decompose on heating, thereby softening what the hard water. Okay, so we have said that what that temporal hardness is caused is due to the presence of what is caused by what by calcium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4. Okay, and we say this calcium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4 or magnesium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4, as the case may be, is what is unstable to heat. And when you heat it, okay, when you heat it or put it what under what intensity, it will what it will decompose what this. Okay, and then to what to soften the hard water. All right, so uh, of course this will now leave what this is now leave, because it it has it has decomposed. It leave what a layer. Okay, to leave what. Uh, so most of you in your kettles. Okay, in your kettles after some time you see you see white white things at the bottom of the kettle. Okay, so that is because of the deposit of what CaCO3. This is calcium carbonate deposit of what calcium carbonate. It is called lime scale. Okay, it, it is called what lime scale. Lime scale. Okay, is due to what deposit of what CaCO3 in what in that kettle. Okay, that is why uh, when you decompose this CaCO3, you are going to have seen, in the next episode we are going to see how to what remove what temporary hardness and then we'll see what the reaction. Okay, so that is what happens. So when you hit what hard water, that when you hit what uh, uh, calcium hydrogen triazocarbonate four, okay, which is present in what in temporary water, temporary hard water, so it will leave a deposit of what CaCO3. Okay, on the kettle or on the boiler. All right, as the case may be, or even on your pressing iron. Sometimes you have seen those white things at the side of a pressing iron. Okay. So 
so that is that for that all right so it decomposes decomposes on heating that is caco3 decomposes on heating thereby what softening the hard water so hardness that cannot be removed by boiling hardness that cannot be removed by boiling hardness that cannot be removed by boiling is called permanent hardness hardness that cannot be removed by boiling is called what permanent hardness okay so it is caused of course by the presence okay we last in the last episode i took with three hint it's caused due to what due to the presence of what heat stable sorts due to the presence of what heat stable sorts heat stable sorts that means for well, no matter how you heat them okay they will not decompose on heating unlike what this unstable what calcium hydrogen transocarbon for okay so hardness that cannot be removed by what by boiling or by heating is called permanent what hardness okay and it is caused or due to the presence of what presence of some heat stable sorts example is what is calcium tetra of it what ccaso4 okay which is what are uh, uh present in the what in the solution either caso4 or mgso4 okay any of the two all right so this is what leads to what permanent hardness so no matter how you hit these sorts okay they are going to remain in the solution so that where that water is what permanently what hard okay so this way i'm going to stop in this episode in this episode we're going to see removal of what of hardness so we'll see we're going to see removal of temporary hardness of water and then removal of what permanent hardness all right so please uh let us quickly see the questions we we're looking at initially from the o3 school jamba so please go and get your application we say uh when a temporary 2007-38 when a temporary hard water is boiled for some time in a kettle the inner surface of the kettle becomes coated with the deposit or what okay i think i hinted it so just like heating what this ca hco32 that is present in what in Temporal hard water. So when you heat it, it will leave a deposit of calcium carbonate. All right. So which is called a lime scale. I think I, st I talked about that. Okay. So our uh, correct answer there will be what option D. Calcium, calcium trouser carbonate four. This is calcium trouser carbonate four. All right. So A say aluminum trouser carbonate four. No. B say calcium hydrogen trouser carbonate four. No. This is calcium hydrogen trouser carbonate four itself. All right. So this one is what causes what temporal hardness. So they say C. Calcium Tetra is of a six. That one is present in what? In permanent what hardness. That's what causes what? Uh, is heat stable salt that is present in what? That causes permanent hardness. All right. Then, of course, D, calcium trouser carbon for which is our correct answer. Now, let us see another question. This is a 2023 question, model 33. Okay. Number 33. 2023 number 33 you say which of the following method can be used to remove temporal hardness from water okay how do you say you say we can what temporal hardness can be removed by what by heating or by boiling okay so a says boiling b says filtration c chlorination d distillation and the correct answer there about is what is boiling so please take note of this temporal hardness can be removed all by boiling okay because what is uh, it is caused by what by an unstable uh, by by a compound which is unstable to heat which is what calcium hydrogen trouser carbonate for or that what temporal hardness cannot be removed by boiling okay and that's why it's called what permanent okay because of the presence of what of heat stable salt like what CASO4 or NG so forth. So that's where I'm going to stop in this episode. In the next class, we're going to see removal of hardness. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.